Hi, how you doing? Hi. Hey, I'm Matt. So, when you were told, do you want to do you want to do a lethal weapon? Yeah. What was your immediate reaction? Because this is lethal weapon. I know. There's a, there's a lot of responsibility. There's a lot of uh, pressure on us here mm -hmm. to deliver because the movies are so iconic and so amazing. Uh, I actually asked to do it. That's how it started. And they told me, no, there's no way you can lethal weapon. And then a couple weeks later, Warner Brothers called me and they're like, we got your lethal weapon. And then that's when the real panic struck. Because you know? well, well, it feels like when I'm watching it, you have split certain things. Murtaugh in this version feels more like a guy who doesn't want to accept that he's too old. Yeah. And Riggs, this Riggs is more subdued and emotional yeah. than Mel Gibson's version right. was and the Shane Black version was. Yes, yes. So how are we going to see that grow over the course of the show? Well, the idea was to, to sort of live a little bit longer in the, in the emotion of the first movie. Riggs is a little bit more broken, a little bit more suicidal. And it's not that he's acting crazy necessarily all the time, although he is pretty crazy, but he actively wants to die. And then setting him up with Murtaugh, who's just gotten over a triple bypass, and he's very worried. And he's a guy who, who's doing everything he can to stay alive. So the idea of a guy who actively wants to die, coupled with a guy who's afraid to die, was the idea of the parent. Cool, thanks, man. I think we need you for